Relax and listen to this story with very carefully. In a small village at the foot of a mountain lived a wise elder called Kim. He was the last descendant of the so-called ancient visual arts, a legacy received from his ancestors. The people of the village, afflicted with various vision problems, would turn to him for advice. The master always greeted people with a big smile, teaching them exercises and techniques to improve their eyesight. However, no one knew that Master Kim guarded a great secret. The true power of the visual arts went far beyond what the eyes could see. One day, a young man named Takeshi, suffering from myopia and astigmatism, eager to get well, went to Kim. The boy, having heard about the miraculous healings of the master, wanted to get rid at all costs of his glasses. He arrived at the modest dwelling of the sage surrounded by aromatic herbs. The boy was greeted by Kim who invited him in. Master Kim, I have come to ask for your help. My eyes do not see well and I would like to improve my eyesight. What should I do? Asked Takeshi firmly. To improve your eyesight, dear boy, you must first learn the art of palms hot palms, answered Kim. Hot palms? What would they be? Asked Takeshi, intrigued. It is an ancestral technique that consists of rubbing the palm of the hand after having generated heat. One must place both hands over the closed eyes. In this way, the eyes relax, stimulating the circulation of the so-called life energy. It is as simple as it is powerful. I will teach it, said Master Kim. Kim showed Takeshi how to rub the palms of his hands until he felt the heat. Then he told him to close his eyes and place his hands over them without exerting too much pressure. Close your eyes and feel the warmth of your hands on them. Let the darkness envelop you like a soft blanket. Breathe deeply and relax your mind. Do not think about anything. Limit yourself to listening, pointed the master. Takeshi did what the master told him, and in doing so, experienced a strange feeling of peace and relaxation. As if by magic, the tension in his eyes eased and a warm current seemed to flow through his gaze. After a few minutes, the master told him to open his eyes. He opened them and was surprised to see that the world appeared clearer, far sharper. The colors were more vivid, the contours more defined, and the details more perceptible. The young man took off his glasses to make sure he could see a little better without them. Incredible! My eyes see better! How is it possible? exclaimed Takeshi in amazement. The hot palms not only rest your eyes, but they also awaken within them energy. It is the force that moves the universe and the way you see things. When such energy flows freely, your vision clears up. When instead the energy gets blocked, your vision becomes clouded. This is only the first step in the journey that will lead you to better vision, explained the master. A journey? In what sense? He asked, intrigued Takashi. The warm palms are just one of the many techniques that make up the visual arts. Each of them has a different purpose and effect. Some help you relax your eyes, others to strengthen them, others to expand, others to focus you better on the goal. But they all have something in common. They teach you to see beyond all that the eyes can really see, said the master. See beyond? What does it mean? He asked. It means that vision is not only a physical matter, but also a mental, emotional, and spiritual one. Vision is the way in which you perceive the world, and the world represents the way you perceive yourself. If you want to improve your vision, you have to improve your perception, and to improve your perception, you have to open your mind, your heart, and soul to new possibilities. Only then can you discover the true secret of the visual arts, said the master. And what is this secret? He asked eagerly. That secret, young boy, is something you can discover for yourself. I can only guide you, but you must be the one to walk the path. Are you willing to do it? Asked the master. Takeshi did not hesitate for a moment. He was fascinated by what the master had told him and wanted to know more. He wanted to improve his eyesight and look at the world with different eyes. He wanted to discover the secret of the visual arts. Yes, master, I am ready. Please teach me everything you know, said Takeshi with immense enthusiasm. Very well, boy, then get ready because there is an extraordinary adventure awaits you. You will discover the mysteries that lie behind every technique I reveal to you. You will discover the secrets that will transform your vision and your life, a journey that will make you see the invisible. But before continuing with the story, we invite you to subscribe to our Elevated Mind channel 
and to leave a like to support us. Thank you a thousand. Now let's move on, said Kim, continuing with the lesson. Now, boy, it is time for your eyes to dance. The teacher guided Takeshi to a corner of the garden where the sunlight filtered through the leaves. There, the sage showed the young man an object that hung from a branch, a pendulum made of crystal that reflected the rays of the sun in all directions. This is the instrument that will help you practice the art of dancing eyes, said the old man. The dancing eyes, in what sense? he asked. It is an ancestral technique that consists of following with the gaze to the movement of the pendulum, without moving the head and without blinking the eyelids. In this way, the eyes are exercised and the attention is intensified. It is a very simple but very effective. I will show it to you, said the master. The master set the pendulum in motion and told Takeshi to observe it carefully by following its movement. But off sight, let your eyes move with it. Breathe deeply and relax your mind. Don't think about anything, observe only, pointed at the master. Takeshi, doing what the master said, experienced a feeling of defiance and concentration. As if by magic, his eyes synchronized with the pendulum, following its movement with decision. But he watched with great satisfaction as the eye reflexes of Takeshi became more refined after each movement of the pendulum. He learned to embrace the rhythm, advised the old man. Thanks to the technique of eye dancing, you will acquire agility and the ability of focus. Sight is not something passive, but a constant action between what you see and what you hear. Now, dear boy, is the time for your eyes to rest, said Master Kim. Master Kim took Takeshi to another corner of the garden, a place where the aroma of herbs filled the air. There, he showed him a bottle of oil that exuded a sweet and refreshing fragrance. This is the tool that will help you practice the art of clarity, said the elder. Art of clarity? What is it? Takeshi inquired. It is an ancestral technique that consists in applying a few drops of oil to the fingertips and then massaging gently the key points around the eyes. In this way, it relieves tension and stimulates the circulation of blood and oxygen. It is a very simple but beneficial exercise, said the master. The master poured a few drops of oil on Takeshi's hands and asked him to close his eyes. He felt the warmth on his temple. He pointed to the ocular massages, this area releasing the tension accumulated. Then do the same with the eyelids, the corners of your eyes, and the tip of the nose. Breathe deeply and relax your mind. Don't think about anything. Takeshi began to experience a strange feeling of relief. As if by magic, his ocular world started to be enveloped in a soothing warmth. With the clarifying massage, you will find peace and clarity. Your sight should not be strained, but rather in harmony between what you see and what you breathe, said the master. Takashi opened his eyes and was marveled to see that the world appeared clearer, brighter, with more defined massages not only for the eyes. It is also a blessing for the spirit, Master Kim. Takeshi continued on his path, aware that each technique revealed a layer deeper than what his eyes could see. Despite the fact that the journey had just begun, the desire for a clearer view of the world drove Takeshi onward. Now, young seeker, we will explore the so-called dancing perspective announced Kim. The master then asked the boy to look at objects that were placed at different distances. There was a flower, a stone, a branch, a fountain, a tree, and a mountain. Alternate your view between what is near and what is far. Through the dancing perspective, you will find the balance between introspection and expansion, said the master. Takeshi followed the instructions by focusing his gaze first on a near object and then on a point farther away. A feeling of connection with the environment grew within him, as if his eyes were windows that opened onto a vast and colorful landscape. What do you see, Takeshi? asked the Master Kim. I see a flower, a stone, a branch, a fountain, a tree, and a mountain, replied Takeshi. And what do you see still? insisted the old man. Takeshi, concentrating further, began to notice details that before were escaped him. I see the petals of the flower. The cracks in the rock, the leaves of the branch, the water in the fountain, the bark of the tree and the snow on the mountain, he said. And what do you see again? He asked once Kim. Takeshi was surprised. What else should he have given up? The boy did not give up and discovered that there were in fact other elements. 
I see the colors of the flower, the shape of the stone, the movement of the branch, the sound of the fountain, the smell of the tree and the peak of the mountain, said Takeshi. And what do you see again? Asked again the elder. Takeshi was stunned. There had to be a limit. He did not stop and discovered that there were, in fact, other things to observe. I see the beauty flower, the hardness of the stone, the freedom of the branch, the peace of the fountain, the love of the tree, and the greatness of the mountain. You are learning, good boy, said the master. The dancing perspective will strengthen the muscles of your eyes, reducing visual fatigue. Sight is a continuous journey between what is near and what is far away. Being able to distinguish between all that will give you a deeper perspective and depth, said the master. Now for the next lesson, the two would explore the art of blinking. After leading the boy to a nearby hut, the master Kim invited Takeshi to sit down comfortably. The conscious blinking is a silent dance between your eyelids and the world surrounding. Close your eyes with gently, feel the rhythm of your breath, then, with awareness, open your eyes allowing your eyelids to move as if they were wings of a butterfly, instructed the master. Each blink was a sort of dance between light and darkness. After each opening, Takeshi felt his eyes filled with moisture, protecting and revitalizing his eyesight. The conscious blink preserves the moisture in your eyes, preventing annoying dryness from formed, explained Kim. It is a state of balance between introspection and connection with the outside world. Now Takeshi, I invite you to experience the conscious beat in different situations, proposed the elder. You will see how this dance will radically change your way of observing the world. Takeshi accepted the challenge and followed the master Kim, who headed back to the garden. The elder pointed to several scenes and asked Takeshi to observe them. Having just experimented with the technique of conscious beat, the boy after noticed a butterfly resting on a flower. He noticed that this one was moving with grace as the flower opened gently. The butterfly's movements, as well as conveying a sense of peace, inspired the boy with their beauty and lightness. Next, the boy saw a young boy playing with a ball. Thanks to the conscious fluttering, Takeshi noticed the child's smile and the energy of the ball that moved continually. Takeshi also felt joy at the innocence with which the child was juggling and nostalgia in remembering his childhood years during which he too played ball. The boy continued to observe other scenes, a couple embracing each other and the sun setting on the horizon, experiencing ever new emotions. At the end of the training period for so to speak, Takeshi remained deeply amazed at the experience. The boy realized that he could now see beyond appearances. Takeshi was now able to connect with emotions of all kinds coming from different situations and circumstances. Takeshi's eyes, thanks to the Master Kim's teachings, had reborn the boy. After thanking immensely to the elderly sage, he said to himself, ready to face life with a new perspective. In conclusion, the story, in a sense, wants us to understand that one should never stop at appearances, Judging someone or something after the first impression is almost always wrong. One must learn to observe, to evaluate carefully before incurring negative considerations or judgments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video to support us and help us produce more content of value.